Did you just flirt with Kian? Oh, oh my god, and she wants to fight him again? Oh, Elaine, you do not want to be here for this. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode of my Not So Berry Challenge. For today's episode, I'm hoping that we can finally go back into work with Eden since I've taken the advice from one of you guys and realized that we couldn't go with her due to the summer holidays. So I've removed those and we are going to test our luck today and hope that it worked. But with all the career struggles aside, I would also like to potentially meet up with Alexandra again and do a pregnancy test to see if Eden's unintentional risky woohoo attempt in the last episode has ended in a pregnancy. So with all that in mind, I think it's time that we just jump straight into the episode. Alrighty, so I'm actually starting today's episode a little bit more rushed than I would have initially liked. She does have work in about an hour if all goes to plan. So I've kind of just had her get up and care to all of her needs quite quickly because obviously my main plan for today was for her to go to work and for us to go along with her. It seems very promising though, so I'm crossing my fingers. But I think for the moment, she's just gonna have a quick shower. She's surprisingly not too hungry, so maybe we just have her come over and maybe just get her fun up a little bit. She is still experiencing a burnout, so I don't know entirely how that's going to affect her performance today. I'm hoping not too much because this is going to be the first time we can go back in with her in a few days. So we'll have to check that out, but I think for now I'm just going to quickly speed through all of this and I'll catch back with you guys when she's about to head to work. Oh, and it worked. Thank goodness. I'm so glad to see this prompt come up again. I feel like we haven't seen it in so long and I'm actually so excited to jump into work with her since we haven't in such a long time. So as the prompt says, trusty notepad in hand, it's time for Eden to go to work at the lab. Let's head there now. Oh, and it's actually collection day too, which is perfect because we haven't been able to get any collectibles recently. So we're kind of slacking on the elements department of the challenge. So this has actually worked wonderfully. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> Let's get on to it. Maybe we should immediately go and start finding some collectibles. That can't hurt our work performance, but of course her being uncomfortable can. <laughs> I think I might just buy her some sickness medication since she is having a sore throat and that's impacting her a lot. So let's get some cold and flu medication and hope that helps her a little bit. I guess for now, while we're waiting for that to kick in, maybe we can find some of our co-workers. Oh, Kian's over here. Let's start the morning with a little bit of mischief, why don't we? I don't want to spend too much time messing with Kian today though because I do tend to get a little bit carried away and I want to make sure that we finish all the tasks for today. But maybe we can just have a little bit of fun before we fully start. I was kind of thinking, since these two don't really like each other, why don't we make Kian one of our enemies? It does say in the challenge rules that we do need three of them, so we might as well start with him. I have a few other ideas for our potential other enemies, but for now, we at least should attempt to get one. And now that she's finished messing with him, let's go and find our collectibles. Oh, see guys, it wasn't just completely me. Even Eden wants to level up her mischief skill, which we'll definitely work towards. I actually don't know what her skill is at the moment. Oh, she's level four in mischief. That's not too bad. How is she in everything else? Her logic's level three. And that's basically all we really need to focus on for the moment. So not too bad. But I'm hoping she gets something other than a time capsule. Or a treasure map. Really? Come on game, give us something better than that. We need things to send to the Geo Council. Oh, and of course she just got a capsule. Perfect. Totally what I wanted. And another capsule. I dare you to give me another capsule, Sims. Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh my god. Come on, this is our first day back at work. Go a little easier on us. Another one? Okay, this has got to be a joke. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Oh, thank goodness. We finally got something. We got a medal. At this point, I'll take anything. One of you guys also said that I should probably try analyzing some more of the elements, crystals, and metals to hopefully find some more. So if we manage to finish the tasks today, I definitely want to go over and do that. I think that might help in finding the more rare elements, I'm hoping. But this is ridiculous. All she's gotten is treasure maps and capsules. We almost have 10 of them. And only two medals to show for. Oh, three now. 
we're over halfway done with the work day, so we kind of got to get a move on or else I'm going to find some other things to do. Okay, we've only got four more left. I've had to move her over here because I found all the ones over there to hold nothing. And she just got another capsule, of course. Oh, come on. We only need one more. We're so close to finding all the collectibles. Please be our lucky last. <gasps> and it is. Okay, we finished that task. Perfect. Let's come in and tinker with the coffee machine. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll come over and ask Elaine for a crystal first. Because I know that the goals will also want us to ask for a medal as well. So we can kill two birds with one stone. Oh, well, perfect. Thank you. And we need to ask for a medal. Let's do it. I don't really want to stay late tonight. But I will if it means we get to finish our tasks. Clone a crystal? You think we have a cloning machine? I don't know about that. Let's just come up and tinker with the coffee machine. We're trying to get everything done. Oh yeah, guys. We're definitely going to have to stay back. There is no way we're going to finish all of our tasks today. Let's put it in and stay late. Now that I think about it though, do you think she's struggling so much because she's experiencing burnout? And that's why she's not getting as much from completing the tasks? That is so infuriating. Oh wait, we actually do have a cloning machine. I didn't even realize. You know what? Let's just abuse it this one time and come and clone the rose crystal. Let's see if she can actually do it though. Oh, okay. Ugh, today is just full of bad luck, I guess. We got a rudimentary matter cube. Not really what I wanted, but we'll try again. Oops, looks like something did not go quite right with the cloning process. You don't say. Okay, another rudimentary matter cube. Really not what I'm wanting here. Oh good, third time's a charm. We finally cloned a crystal. Let's chuck them both back in our inventory and go ask another co-worker for a crystal. Here we are, here's Bradley. Please come over. We need to chat with you quickly. You know, it may not be the best day for completing tasks, but at least we're getting a lot of crystals and metals that we can send off. So I can't be too mad. However, she is feeling this late shift tonight. She is overthinking, hungry, tired, and is not happy because there's unpleasant surroundings. Oh, thanks for that crystal. Let's come over and analyze it. Let's analyze this one. I'm not even going to attempt to say its name because I just know that I'm going to butcher it. Quick, Eden, we only have one hour left. Let's try get these final tasks done and hopefully we can get a full bar today. Not betting on it though. Okay, yeah, I doubt we're going to make it. Maybe we just analyze for the rest of the shift. <laughs> at least we finished two quarters. Yeah, I don't really think we're going to finish it today, but at least we found a new medal. That's good. Maybe let's just analyze for the rest of the day. Oh, and there we go. We didn't even get to finish, but Eden did a good job today and has made a total of 429 simoleons. That's as good as I could have asked for. Let's head home now. All right, we've just made it back and I don't think we're going to be doing anything for the rest of the night. Eden's needs are at an all time low and I think we just need to care to those a little bit. Maybe we should come over and use the toilet first since we do want her to do a pregnancy test. I am hoping that she is not pregnant because I really just don't think that that would work for her at the moment. But of course, if that's what the Sims gods want, that's what the Sims gods get. Okay, please. Come on. Be negative. Be negative. Oh, perfect. Okay. She's not pregnant, you guys. That's okay. We'll take that. We have dodged a bullet this time. Let's just hope that next time I'm a little bit smarter and get her protection. But I think for now, I'm just going to get the rest of her needs up and I'll catch you guys when she wakes up in the morning. Okay, guys, it's the next day. However, it's not a good morning because last night I got a notification that Eden has actually got brain block. Eden's burnout became a total brain block. Brain block seriously impacts work performance, promotions, energy, fun, and skill gain. She'll recover over time, but take it easy and relaxing will help speed up recovery. So I don't really know what to do about that. She's also feeling very uncomfortable from her condition. What's her condition? Oh, and she has allergies too. Just to add more issues into Eden's life. You know what? I'm thinking of being the bigger person today and actually making her take a day off. I know that that sounds silly since we've only just been able to go back to work with her and she hasn't gotten a promotion in quite a long time. But I don't think that this brain block is going to go unless I do. So if we take a day off today, at least we'll be able to jump back into work tomorrow. So I guess for now, we'll just start off the morning quite easy. She's already seemed to care to her breakfast needs. And then I think I might just have her watch a movie or something just to kind of chillax a little bit more. 
And I also think that I'm going to try buy her some allergies medication. Because I know how that feels and I'm not about to have her struggle with allergies all day. Alright, work starts in an hour. I think I might just have her take some personal time off. She does have four days of vacation available, so it should be fine. We'll still get paid at least and make some simoleons, which you can't complain about. Okay, I don't know why I waited this long to get her to take a vacation day. For some reason, I thought that in this prompt we could do that, but we can only join or send her alone. So I've kind of goofed up a little bit. I'm not sure whether we join her and then attempt to have her go home or if that's not really going to count because she hasn't taken a day off. So maybe we actually might have to head into work with her today and instead we'll just take it easy at work and not try and push her to do anything. And I guess instead we'll just take Friday off, which is tomorrow. Kind of didn't work the way I was planning it to, but that is honestly just from my own stupidity. So I guess we're just going to have to jump in with her nonetheless. All right, we've just made it in. I think today we're definitely going to have to take it easy, but thankfully one of our first tasks is to actually speak to Melanie, which I think is perfectly fine. That shouldn't really bother Eden that much since her and Melanie are quite good friends. I guess today we really are just going to have to take it slow. I do see that it is going down. I don't know if it, it will end in 13 hours. I'm hoping so, but you can never really tell with The Sims. So I guess we'll just spend the morning chatting with Melanie. We did just find out that she's an ambitious sim, which is good. But while we're at it, we'll also ask her for a crystal. Thank you, Melanie. We'll also ask you for a medal, of course. Perfect. And maybe we can go and chat with the invention constructor. And I do actually want to check into the community space sometime soon because I want to see if us voting on the community garden has actually fulfilled. Because we really need to start getting some harvestables and hope that we can get some ingredients to mix serums with. Otherwise, we're going to really struggle in that department. But she's just finished talking with the invention constructor. we got to find Melanie again. Oh, and she's right here, of course. Let's come and gossip with her. That's definitely something Eden would do. Come and gossip about co-workers. I'd assume knowing her, she's probably gossiping about Kian since that's the only thing that she's really got issues with in the science lab. Ooh, anything interesting? Okay, apparently not. That's fine. Let's get to know her, so at least we finished that. And then I definitely want to go over and see if we can find Kian. And hopefully that'll make her feel a little bit happier if she can practice her mischief a little bit more. Speaking of Kian, though, where is he? Oh, he's up here with Bradley. Well, we're just about to come and ruin this cute moment between them two because I immediately want to go and claim to be a criminal mastermind. Oh, actually, I lied. Eden has come in to mock his outfit. All right. I thought we were going to be a little bit more mischievous in nature, but I guess we can also be rude. Does he still have a crush on us? Oh, no, they don't. But we still think he's very attractive, which is interesting. Unfortunate that we're going to make him our enemy, though. Kind of ruins that. I also don't want this to feel like a one-sided thing though. I do believe that Kian also does have quite an issue with Eden since they are both- Oh, uh, Melanie? Did you just flirt with Kian? Oh my goodness. There is no way that that just happened right in front of us. I was just about to talk about how this isn't one-sided and Eden's not the only one with the issue. Both him and Eden are very competitive and I feel like they're each other's biggest rivals here. However, now that I feel like Kian's been flirting with Melanie, I don't think that Eden would take that very well, especially since she's very stressed. They're also kind of ignoring her, which I also don't think that Eden would stand for, so I definitely feel like Eden would actually come over and attempt to fight him. This might be a little bit extreme, but who really cares? She's stressed, and she's not going to take all of this nonsense. Oh, there they go. Eden is getting into her first fight. Oh, who's going to win? Oh, look, Eden's doing quite well. Oh no, he bet us. And now she feels like she needs to be mean. You know what? I'm not going to make her mean because I don't think she's a mean sim. I think she's more just mischievous in her nature. However, she is very jealous and self-absorbed. So that could also be the reason why she's doing all of this. Maybe we fight him again. <laughs> no, I think we should stop the fighting for today. Let's just come and insult him. Seems like Bradley's come to his rescue, though. Maybe he saw the fight and he's like, guys, what are you doing? Not at work. <laughs> but clearly they don't care. 
Actually, you know what? Maybe we should take a break. Let's come over and find Elaine. We do need to discuss work with her, so maybe that'll be a little bit more productive. Let's discuss work. And maybe we can also complain about losing her first fight. Well, I can't believe you got into a fight, Eden, and won. Wait, we didn't win. Did we just lie? Oh, Eden, come on now. You know what? Doesn't matter. Let's head over and practice some analysis. Oh, but she just reached logic level four, which is good. I love to see that she's still increasing her levels. Oh, and guys, she doesn't have burnout anymore. I was right. That moodlet went away. But a lot more got added. My goodness. Yeah, she's uncomfortable because she got into a fight. She still has her allergies. She's feeling beaten up, of course. And she doesn't actually like it because she's a feeler. Poor Eden. You know, maybe now that that burnout's gone, we can actually fulfill all the tasks today. Let's quickly analyze a crystal. I'm so glad that that burnout's over though, because that means that we can go to work again tomorrow. I was really not looking forward to having her take a day off since we haven't really been able to go to work. And I know that she did feel burnout because we couldn't go to work with her and I made her work hard those three days. But she does only have an hour left. Can we finish this? I hope so. Let's analyze an element. We don't actually have too many elements now that I look at it because of course I forgot to send them to the Geo Council. So we'll definitely have to do that when we head home. But I'm hoping she manages to find another element potentially. Oh, she has, perfect. I'm pretty sure we already have that one, but at least she's still practicing. And now we need to go talk to Bradley. Where is Bradley? Oh, he's up here. Let's see if we can quickly come over and chat with him. I'm not betting on it because we got one minute. And she wasn't able to. She was so close. You know what? That's okay. She still did a good job. We earned 351 simoleons. And I couldn't really ask for much more. Alrighty. Home sweet home. Let's come upstairs and immediately send everything to the Geo Council so I don't forget. I also want to actually test to see if we have this new element or not. And we didn't. Okay. That's so good. We've only got five elements left. Wonderful. But my goodness, why is everyone coming to the door today? Hey, I've got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is? You know, why not? We might as well get a free gift. Oh, she got us a jerky coop? Interesting. I don't really know what that is. Oh, it's actually jerky. Okay. At least it's fake so Eden can eat it. I guess she was being very considerate. <gasps> Eden, stop. Stop. I don't know why you always get so flirty. And you want to give her a massage? Oh my goodness. Are we going to actually start having a little bit of a romance with Melanie? I wasn't expecting it, but we could do it. <laughs> Maybe not tonight though. Let's just quickly send her home before anything goes too much further. And I'm going to finally send everything to the Geo Council. All right, everything's been sent. That was a lot. There is no way that we can't at least get one more element. But while we're at it, I also think I'm just going to sell all of the time capsules because we don't really have much use for them. Actually, maybe we keep them all and see if we can go to the community space and sell them all if it's still a marketplace. That might be a little bit more realistic. But Alexander has actually just messaged us as well. Hey, cutie pie, I planned a date for you at my place. You should come over. Oh, I just missed it. Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> See, now I'm a little bit confused. I actually came into Melanie's profile in efforts to see if she was attracted to Melanie because that'd be a really interesting romantic path to go down. But she doesn't actually have any interest in her. They have amazing compatibility, but that's about it. I don't really know. I don't know if Eden swings that way. Maybe we'll have to see how we go and how the game plays out. I also feel like she's getting so tired of recent. She's always got bags under her eyes after she's finished work. Granted, she does really have a very exhausting job, so I don't blame her. But I think I might have her head straight to bed after this. She's very uncomfortable. Her allergies are clearly acting up. She's feeling stuffed up and is apparently sneezing all over the place. So I think just heading to bed would be the best idea. So now that she's finished her grapes, I'm going to have her head to bed. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. Alright, our first perfect morning this episode. Eden has woken up. She is not feeling burnt out. Her allergies are not affecting her. The most she's feeling is the fact that she's overthinking and is still a little bit beaten up from getting into a fight. 
So I'd say this is a good start to the day. I think I might just have her clean up and maybe go jump in the shower. There's really not much else to do. However, once she does come back to work, I'm very excited to see all of the elements that we could potentially get. There's nothing at the moment. However, we can vote on the neighborhood action plan. So maybe once she's showered, we'll go over and do that. Or apparently not. She can just do it in the shower. Let's see if there's anything that we want to do. Oh, actually, maybe we do the fun-loving community. If we vote for this, we'll be rewarded for doing activities that involve comedy, mischief, and even video gaming. Maybe I just put two into that. And I want to quickly check if there's anything else that Eden would benefit from. Unfortunately not. I would really love to put green gardening in there, but we don't really have any space to have a green garden. So I feel like we'll just do a fun-loving community for the moment. There we go. She just placed her vote in. And I think for now, I might just skip through to when she's about to start work. Here we are. We've just made it to work. And Eden actually has a few fun tasks to start off the day. We need to discuss work with Key and tinker with the coffee machine. But most importantly, invent a sim ray. And since she's feeling very playful, I feel like that's one of the first things I want to do this morning. Let's come over and see if we can invent it. Oh, perfect. We can. Let's do it. Let's invent our sim ray. And maybe that'll mean that we can mess with Key in a little bit more. Oh, here it is. We finished inventing the sim ray. Eden invented a sim ray. This device looks like a powerful freeze ray. Give it a name and then drag the sim ray off the invention constructor and into Eden's inventory. Of course, we can freeze sims. That's probably one of the things that I'm most excited about. I would love to go over and see if we can freeze Kian. But let's first name it. And unfortunately, I am not the best with names. And I'm going to be a little bit basic in this, but I am going to call it the Fairy Ray. So if you guys have any other better name ideas, please let me know. But for now, it'll just be the Berry Ray. Now for the fun to start, we need to go find Kian. Is he here today? He is. Oh, and he's up here with Melanie. Are you serious? Come on now. Let's come up and yell at him first. Then we do have to discuss work with him, which is quite annoying. So I might get that over and done with. All right, that's over with. Now let's come and freeze him. Oh, oh my God. And she wants to fight him again. Eden, are you serious? You just fought him a few days ago. Was it really necessary to fight him again? I'm a little concerned at this animation though. What is going on? <laughs> oh, of course. What did Eden expect? And now they've got a bad sentiment. They have a grudge after fighting. Well, fair enough, honestly. I don't know why she felt the need to do that. And honestly, I don't know why I feel the need to freeze him. So let's come over and do what we need to do. Oh, Elaine, you do not want to be here for this. Oh no, there she goes and she froze him. Maybe it's because she lost the fight and now she's feeling very angry about it. But I guess why Elaine's here, let's quickly chat with her. Of course, I did it again and I put everything else aside just to mess with Kian. But now that he's frozen, we really can't do it. So we can focus more on the tasks. Oh, and it actually wants us to invent the hover lamp. I'm down to do that. Let's come over and invent the hover lamp. We haven't done that yet, so we might as well. Our second invention of the day. Let's do it. Oh, she just invented the hover lamp. Perfect. We can turn it on and it will break the laws of physics. I think we do have to turn it on. Or at least I want to turn it on. Let's turn it on. There it is. Perfect. Okay, let's chuck that in our inventory and go and find Melanie. Oh, here she is. She's at the front. Let's, of course, come over and gossip with co-workers. Oh, wait, she actually finished all of her tasks. How perfect. I feel like we haven't done that in quite a while, so this is a good day. I guess for now, maybe we can just come over and collect some more crystals and metals. I still think that Kian is frozen, so we can't go and mess with him. This is actually quite funny. We can crack it open, but we're not going to. We're just going to leave and pretend that nothing ever happened. Oh, and she ended the day with a promotion. How perfect. She has been promoted to Serum Sequencer. She earned an additional 312 simoleons and a chemistry lab. Now with the success of that promotion and her new little glasses, I definitely think that she should treat herself tonight, especially since she's feeling very flirty. I do think we should potentially invite a particular someone over. Let's see if Alexander wants to come over and hang out with us for a little bit. And he does. That's wonderful. 
Maybe let's quickly just jump in the shower before he comes, though. Ensure that she is nice and clean. Oh, and here he is. What perfect timing. Let's come over and chat with him a little bit. We can ask him about his day. And I was going to say do something else friendly, but she's immediately wanted to go in with the flirt. She definitely knows what she wants. Oh, she's really going for it. Eden, my goodness. Actually, wait, before they do anything too crazy, I do need her to go and quickly buy some protection because I do not trust Alexander to. So before this goes any further, let's quickly head there. And we'll immediately come back upstairs and chat with Alexander again. I guess that small talk is really out of the window for those two. So I've just immediately gone in with the flirt. I'm hoping spending the night with Alexander will hopefully make Eden feel a little bit more happy and not as miserable since she has very low fun. But it seems like we're going pretty well. He's going to hold hands with us. That's quite cute. Maybe we can also give him a kiss and then head straight to the bedroom again. Let's see if we can go and woohoo. Oh, is he going to accept? And he is. I mean, of course he is. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> so I guess there they go. However, I might just quickly move away. And then when Eden wakes up, we'll definitely come over and grab our mail to see what elements we got. I feel like that's the best way to end this episode. All right, they've just finished up and Eden is actually feeling a lot happier, which is good. I'm glad to see that we worked on something good for her. But now we need something good for the challenge and we need to see if we got any more elements. Oh, and we got tons. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see this? We got so many. I'm hoping that there's some new ones in there. Thankfully, it seems like Alexander's leaving so we can spend the rest of our night alone. But while she's caring to her needs, I'm going to quickly pop everything in. We've got one new one, a second new one. And I think that's it. Unfortunately, the rest of these ones don't fit. But we did get two new ones, which is good. But nonetheless, Eden has decided to grab some leftover sliders. And then I think I'm just going to have her head straight to bed. But of course, not before I end the episode. I feel like it's now become a tradition to end the episode once Eden has had a little fling and is grabbing some leftover food to end the night. So I thought we might as well end it here. We also had quite a successful episode, which makes me happy to leave it here. We thankfully got to go back to work with Eden. We caused a little bit more of a rift in our relationship with Kian, which is what we wanted. And we also managed to get a promotion slash get a lot more elements. So if you ask me, I think it was a very successful episode and I had so much fun. But of course, if you guys enjoyed, please feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I can't wait to see you next time. But for now, bye everyone.